Hey guys, Neil Waterhouse. Received an email from Clara Rogers saying, Hi Neil, firstly, a very big thank you for taking your time to help smaller sellers grow their, their businesses. I've learned so much from your videos and attending your presentations you do for the Melbourne eBay Amazon group. Also, a big thank you for setting up that group. Not only have I learned an incredible amount of gold gems from your presentations, but also the ability to network with other eBay and Amazon sellers has been amazing. Just to hang out with other people doing the same thing and share ideas has been very powerful. Thanks for your help. I've been able to give up my full-time job as a midwife in January and spend more time at home with my four-year-old son. My question is, if you have time to answer, how is Amazon coming to Australia and how is it going to affect eBay? Bottom line is, thanks to you, we're making more money from eBay at home than it being a full-time midwife and I obviously don't want this to change. This year we've already doubled our sales from last year. Oh, well, Clara, great question and firstly, congratulations on your success so far. Well done. In regards to Amazon opening in Australia, which from the latest information is they won't be ready to start shipping until the end of 2018, but when Amazon does go live, this will give you a whole new audience to sell your existing products to. That is the exact same products you're already selling on eBay. You'll, you'll be able to you know, simply flick a switch to start selling exactly the same items on Amazon. So you just flick a switch on the software, which I'll get to in a sec, and your items will just load up to Amazon. So we do, we've been in this in the US for quite some time and, and also all over the planet, but anyway, we'll get to that. So basically the items you've got listed on eBay, you can still use the same one. So bottom line is eBay and Amazon, and even your website if you have one, are simply just separate channels, which often have you know, different audiences. Some people prefer to buy on eBay, others prefer to purchase their goods on Amazon, other people prefer to purchase from you know, websites, and other people prefer to purchase from comparison shopping engines. And of course, you know, some people prefer to purchase from you know, traditional bricks and mortar stores. Everybody's different, you know, and that's okay. Just like some people prefer, you know, prefer to drive Ford motor vehicles, you know, and other people prefer to buy, you know, drive you know, Jeeps or Toyotas or whatever. You know, eBay and Amazon and your own website are simply different channels with different audiences. And the good news is you can simply use software to feed the same products you're already selling on eBay to all the channels, including Amazon. We started selling on Amazon firstly in the USA, must have been nearly 10 years ago. And we also sold on eBay and sell on eBay in the US as well as our websites. And in fact, we use Amazon to fulfillment centers all over the world to ship many of our eBay orders. I'll go more into the Amazon FBA system later on. You know, it's a bit you know, off, off topic for this video. But the great thing is though, if you have an eBay business now, you can easily use software to feed to all different channels. This is exactly what we do now in Australia and the USA. However, currently in Australia, we only feed to eBay and our websites and comparison shopping engines. As soon as Amazon is up and running in Australia, we will simply flick the switch and all our products will be live on Amazon. The software we use is Magento and we use a plugin called M2E. However, there's tons of software out there that can do exactly the same thing. I highly recommend you should you know, sell your products on as many channels as you can as, you know, with all businesses, diversification is the key. It's so easy these days to feed the same products to all different channels using software. So bottom line, Clara, just keep growing your eBay business now by adding more and more hot selling products. So when Amazon is up and running, you can feed your products and collect sales from a whole different audience. That's all this week. If you've seen this video anywhere else besides my blog, neilwaterhouse.com, please come on over for more eBay and Amazon hints and tips. If you think this video might help anybody else, please give it a share from the links below. Until next week, list more, sell more. This is Neil Waterhouse.